Yeah, and that's um, we've spent obviously a lot of time talking and, and building our, our systems um, around this. So it, it's easy to start kind of what's that in state, what's that North Star Nirvana. And um, a lot of the le legacy technology at that point is sunset. Um, you're kind of operating kind of on next generation. That's great, but I, I don't think I could credibly walk into any airline headquarters in the world and say, okay, here's your brand new system. Here's your training manual. Uh, let us know when you want to turn off the old system and uh, we'll just go ahead and, uh, and fire this one up the next morning. It just it doesn't work that way. Everything's too interconnected in this industry. So we're taking a really kind of measured transition approach for that, that journey to offer an order. And so what I'd say is uh, you look at uh, first deploying a set of kind of technology side by side. So in terms of um, what it, what would Amazon have ever become if their transactional model was based around books um, and solely books 15 years ago, right? And so what I mean by that is you, what, what are the attributes that describe a book? Hardcover, softcover, how many pages, what's the, uh, the author, et cetera. Well, ultimately as Amazon transitioned into the retailing world, if they had tried to turn that transaction of what it looks to buy a book into what it looks to buy a, a t-shirt or uh, you know a, a bicycle tire or anything like that, they never would have gotten. So that's the way we're looking at it is we're not trying to turn the reservation, the PNR, the today's booking into the new world. What we're trying to do is side by side deploy a new set of technology next to it and ultimately help the the our airline partners transition back and forth. So for the the next call it a uh, few years, what we're going to see with airlines is they're going to operate in a hybrid world whereby they can avail themselves of the existing technology, but get into a phase transition where they can start bringing on their partners. And by partners, I don't just mean interlines and co-chairs. I mean the entire ecosystem of revenue accounting providers and uh, catering providers at the airport that are used to kind of the existing way of doing things. And ultimately what we see in this kind of middle stage in the transition, so call that phase two, is you start getting into a world where I can sell capabilities in terms of uh, that might be something in your loyalty program, that might be a specific set of markets, but I can sell them in the new world. And because I've started walking everybody into over time, I'm operating in this hybrid environment, but over time I'm pulling capabilities off of the existing system and ultimately bringing them into the new one, ultimate goal, should be that we upgrade all the technology and ultimately get towards this new offer order retailing world, just as in the Netflix world, people went from videotapes to DVDs to ultimately streaming over time. It was both because of technology upgrades, but also because there were tangible benefits to the consumer for doing so.